holiday season is here, and what's a better way to celebrate than a beautiful piece of prime rib? It took me a long time to convince Carmen to let me buy this piece of meat. It's an expensive cut, so we're going to have to cook it to perfection and without any chance of error. So the easiest way to do that is to do that with the sous vide. We're going to cook it medium all the way through, and then we're going to finish it with a Parmesan herb crust, and it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. If you're new to kind of cooking, we do sous vide recipes and a lot of other things as well. So make sure to subscribe and press that notification bell. We're going to salt this generously. It's a big piece of meat. It's not going to take in all the salt anyway. So we're going to want to get a good amount on here. You need to salt bay it. You're not very good. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pat that on and we're going to do this side. So you don't need to trim anything? Well, this one already came trimmed and actually I would have preferred more fat on it. Okay, make sure you get all the sides. What I do usually do is I salt the meat instead of salting the crust. So if I salt the meat first, then when I put the crust on, I can put a lot more crust without having to worry about how salty it becomes later. For this one, we took a boneless ribeye, mainly because it was on sale, but you can definitely do this with a bone in. Uh, what people would usually do would be cut out the bone and then tie it back together with butcher twine and that way you have a nice presentation. But when you cut it, you're going to remove the bone anyway. So if you just start with the boneless, that is fine as well. The next step is to brown the meat, mainly because we want to develop some color and some flavor in it. The reason why we're doing it in the beginning is because we're going to put a crust on it. So we want under the crust so that there's some nice brown, browned meat and not just a gray blob. So we're going to put this on, we're going to put fat side down first and we're going to hear it sear. Mm. And you'll want to get the edges, make sure you get the nice edges here. The house is smoky. It's really smoky. So that's the one thing, we're doing this for you. For show, sure, we're probably ruining our house, but you should probably do this under the vent. It would be much better for your house. So we're gonna bag it. I'll get you to fold that over. I'm using extra large freezer bags. Okay. That's it. That's it. See you in six hours. The prime rib has been taken out from the water bath, it's been six hours and now we're chilling it. So we're going to make the crust now. So it's a very simple crust and you actually don't need to do the crust. If you want it to stop here, you can brush some oil on, put it back in the cast iron and sear it all around and then you have your traditional rib roast. But we want to take a, the next level up so we're doing the crust. We're going to put some panko breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, rosemary, mayo. The last ingredient we're going to put in is garlic, so garlic goes in, and that's it. Blend it up and crust it. So our prime rib, finished in the sous vide, chilled it for a couple of minutes. We're going to take it out. It's going to be a little delicate. Just to remind everybody, we need to keep these, uh, this juice to make the uh, jus later. Is it mm -hmm. jus? Jus. 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 Oh, jus. You can see how nice and soft this is. So the first step is to pat it nice and dry. Oh, it's so soft. Power of the sous vide. Don't say that. People are gonna like what you part. There's Dijon mustard and a little bit of mayo inside. So we're only gonna do the top, the sides, and not the bottom. Okay. Why not the bottom? Because the bottom is going to get soggy if you do the bottom and you're gonna cut that area anyway. You can do the bottom. I would recommend a higher tray. The next step is to put on the crust that you made with the panko breadcrumbs and the rosemary. So we're going to just put it on the top. Make sure you press it down. Okay. So make sure you push it in on the sides, on the top. Prime rib, nice and crusted. Make sure it adheres to the meat, otherwise it's going to fall off later. 
The next step is to put in the oven. I preheat it to 500. We just want a nice crust all around. Once that becomes golden brown, it's ready to go. The meat already inside is cooked, so you don't want to keep it in there too long. Prime rib is done. It's a lot leaner than I expected. But let's taste it first before you say anything. Okay. Well, it's soft. Oh, it's very tender. That is for sure. Oh. Mm. Flavor is good. Mm. It's very tender. Of course, it's good. I taste the cheese, I taste the rosemary, everything. I, you put it in, I taste it. Mm -hmm. Even if you accidentally bought a lean piece of meat, it will still be super tender and tasty. So just do it in the sous vide and you wouldn't go wrong. Mm -hmm. This is our perfect holiday prime rib. So from us to you, happy holidays. Happy holidays.